Hey there everyone, my name is Matt Reed and this is my art video project. In this video, I will be examining some pieces of artwork and asking questions such as how has the social conception of watercolor changed during the 19th and 20th centuries and how is that reflected in these paintings? So a little bit of background. In the 19th century, watercolor was primarily used as a tool for sketching and creating preparatory studies for larger paintings. It was often seen as a more informal and portable medium compared to oil painting. Now, during this time, watercolor was associated with the practice of plain air painting, where artists would go outdoors to capture the natural landscape. However, as we entered the 20th century, there was a shift in the perception of watercolor. Artists began to experiment more with the medium, pushing its boundaries and exploring its unique qualities. Watercolor started to be seen as a versatile and expressive medium in its own right, capable of capturing light, color, and atmosphere in a way that other mediums couldn't. Art movements such as Impressionism and Expressionism played a significant role in popularizing watercolor as a standalone medium. Artists like Claude Monet and Paul Cezanne embrace watercolor for its ability to capture fleeting moments and evoke emotions. The transparency and luminosity of watercolor pigments allowed artists to create vibrant and atmospheric paintings. In the 20th century, watercolor also gained recognition through the establishment of watercolor societies and exhibitions dedicated to showcasing the medium. This helped elevate its status and brought more attention to the unique qualities of watercolor painting. Overall, the social conception of watercolor shifted from being primarily a sketching tool to a respected and celebrated medium in its own right, thanks to the experimentation and innovation of artists throughout the 19th and 20th centuries. Alright, so for the first art piece, let's take a look at the Court of Gay Mars as an example. So, the Court of Gay Mars is actually a famous painting from the Shahameh, an epic Persian poem. In this painting, Gay Mars, the mythical first king of Iran, is depicted in a lush and idyllic court surrounded by nature. Watercolor is important in the creation of the paintings like the Court of Gay Mars because it allows artists to capture the delicate details and vibrant colors of the natural world. The transparency and the fluidity of the watercolor pigments can bring a sense of life and movement to the depiction of landscapes, plants, and animals. With watercolor, the artists have the ability to layer washes of color, creating depth and atmosphere in their paintings. This technique can be particularly effective in capturing the ethereal and dreamlike qualities often associated with mythical and fantastical scenes. Watercolor's versatility and ability to evoke emotions through its luminosity and transparency make it a popular choice for artists when creating scenes like the Court of Gay Mars. It allows them to bring the mythical world to life with its unique qualities. Another famous watercolor painting of the 19th century is Water Lilies by Claude Monet. In this piece of artwork, Monet depicts his famous garden pond in Giverny, France, where he spent a great deal of time capturing the ever-changing play of light and colors on the water's surface. The painting showcases the, a harmonious blend of blues, greens, purples, and pinks, representing the reflection of the sky and surrounding foliage. The importance of watercolor in this depiction lies in its influence on Monet's style. Monet was a master of capturing the breathtaking qualities of nature, and watercolor techniques played a significant role in the shaping of his approach. Watercolor, with its transparent and fluid nature, allowed Monet to create delicate layers of color and capture the subtle nuances of light and atmosphere. This technique enabled him to pick the ever-changing reflections and dreamlike quality of the water's surface. These techniques can be seen in his mastery of capturing the ethereal and transient qualities of the scene. Over time, the conception of watercolor paintings has evolved and transformed. Initially seen as a medium for sketches and studies, watercolor has now gained recognition as a powerful and expressive art form in its own right. Artists have pushed the boundaries of traditional watercolor techniques, experimenting with different styles, subjects, and approaches. Today, watercolor paintings encompasses a wide range of styles from traditional landscapes to an abstract and experimental works. The perception of watercolor as a delicate and transparent medium has shifted, and artists now explore its versatility and potential for vibrant colors and bold compositions. This evolution has opened up new possibilities for artists to express their creativity and has expanded the appreciation and recognition of watercolor as a significant art artistic medium. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope you learned a thing or two.